Uh, today in New York, 1st of November, a uh, thousand uh, business leaders, senior business leaders and uh, entrepreneurs and from both private and public sector is gathering to discuss uh, strategical business issues regarding sustainability. And um, with me now I have a person who have a huge insight in this issue. Welcome Aaron Kramer. Why is sustainability a strategical issue for business? Thank you Kai. Well, sustainability is a, a strategic I issue for business for a couple of very important reasons. One is, as our world is changing, some of the biggest challenges uh, that we face globally a as a global community are also the biggest challenges that business faces. So when you think about climate change, when you think about availability of water, when you think about uh, health and nutrition, when you think about uh, maintaining open societies, these are all things that are big global challenges, but they're also things that are absolutely essential to businesses' ability uh, to operate effectively and compete. So that's one reason. Uh, the second reason is that uh, these very same challenges also present a great opportunity uh, for innovation for business. As business thinks about new products, new services, new ways of doing business uh, that can address these challenges, the companies that get, get them right are, are probably going to be the companies that are going to be the most competitive in the decades ahead. So both in terms of uh, the, the operating environment uh, for business generally, as well as opportunities for individual enterprises uh, to come up with, with innovations, uh, that's why this, this agenda has uh, gone to the top of the business agenda in the last few years. So innovation, you say. Uh, uh, can you give an example on what sort of innovation you see uh, coming out from the market solution now? Sure. Well, there are a couple of examples just recently that I think are worth uh, speaking about. Uh, one is, is a great example of how companies are creating not only new products and services, but also fundamentally new businesses. And that comes, maybe not surprisingly, from Google. And uh, Google, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, announced that it was going to make a major investment in building an electricity transmission grid on the seabed off of the east coast of the United States. Now, this is a great business opportunity for Google. It's putting it in an entirely new business. And it is also exactly what's needed to create an offshore wind uh, generation capability uh, in the United States. So here you have an example of a company getting into a fundamentally new business, uh, thinks in a way that, that will generate more revenue and also solve a big challenge. Second example is from an American consumer electronics retailer uh, named Best Buy. And Best Buy uh, has come to realize that its ability uh, to uh, sell consumer electronics can also position it to get into the electric bike business, can help it get into uh, the business of managing energy use in our homes. And so it's building on its existing platform with some of the very kinds of products and services it already makes available to uh, generate new products and services that it thinks uh, will be very valuable for it and will get at the question of of urban gridlock and also the question of how to help consumers manage their energy costs, uh, which of course brings both savings for, uh, for the average household as well as an ability for us to become a lot more efficient uh, as users of energy as that becomes more important. Coming up this week, our theme is Innovate, Integrate, Inspire, and that tells you a bit about what we're aiming to do. We're, we, we're making the point that companies do well when they innovate, come up with new products and services, but then integrate, because if, if uh, sustainability isn't really at the core of what a business does, uh, it doesn't have much of an impact. And then Inspire, and one of the reasons we're focusing on that as a theme is that we, uh, we believe that inspiring the public and inspiring consumers to think about their consumption habits is one of the ways uh, that's, very, that, that's most important in stimulating demand for sustainable products and services. So we'll be focusing on those three themes this week with a thousand people from more than 40 countries uh, and we're very excited about it and, and look forward to uh, generating a lot of excitement and thinking and partnerships in the week ahead. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Kai.